and welcome back to another video. Today I have Why Liverpool in the Prem. You are seeing a black screen at the moment because the um, start of this video went all weird and basically three parts of the video. Intro, a bit of facts, that's the same thing, and interview and then the outro. Um, the, the start bit, yeah I am a bit quiet but in the interview it's very good, got a good Liverpool fan, um, um, louder there, and outro, um, it is quite loud, so, <laughs> you'll turn down your volume, it, uh, for the outro. Also, there is, uh, hopefully, I may have bleeped it out, but my mates do include their audio a bit onto the recording, hopefully, <laughs> they did swear, but hopefully I clicked out. Okay, have a good one. Hello there, and welcome back to another video. Today, I'm doing why I think Liverpool will win the league this season. Um, so I've t in this video, I'm going to be um. Firstly, explain there's two parts. I'm going to firstly be explain some reasons why I think Liverpool will win the league. And the second part, I'm going to be interviewing a Liverpool fan, which will be quite fun. So let's quickly get into the um, get into the video. And first thing I'm going to say is. Liverpool are 15 to 8 to win the league this season to follow up their first ever Premier League title, making it two in a row, which, which will probably make them the best team in the world. Um, um, they have made many records in last year, um, with the fewest amount of matches to win the title, which is a bit mad, um, but what is terrible for Liverpool at the moment is three of their starting back four are injured. Sorry about that, that was filmed ages ago, actually all of their back four has been injured, Robertson is back, but also loads of the other players are injured, so unlucky that <laughs> some stuff that I'm going to say might not be relevant anymore, but most of it is for a very long time so first we got Van Dyke out for 12 months as the rest of the season he's out for Alexander Arnold is out till the 9th of December that means he's missing six games and three of them are in the Prem which is a very good for Liverpool and Joe Gomez and all it says here is he's missing a considerable uh, a significant part of the season, um, which will be a huge blow in Liverpool's defence this season. And their only starting defender is Robinson, which which isn't isn't he's, he's not the best of defenders. He's all right, but I wouldn't say he's the best. But Liverpool have made some good signings this season, including Diego Jota. A Justin. beautiful player. I James cannot lie. Like, he is. He he's played extremely Mason. well in the last few matches. He scored like how many Liverpool goals? I'd say about six. I'd say, I, I don't know, but he has been very good. And for some reason he doesn't start over Firmino, which I think he should. But maybe after this international break, he will be starting. And Klopp might get a brain. And um. Um, they are now third after eight matches in the um, in the league. Liverpool, uh, I do think Liverpool will win. Now I'm here with big Liverpool fan Lando. Hello there. Say hello. How are you guys? The friend, the the crowd of Leotis Channel. Yes. This is my good friend and also big Liverpool fan, is this correct? Yes, it is very correct. I am a big Liverpool fan. I've supported them my whole life and I don't change teams like someone, Cough Cough Jack. <laughs> yeah, you don't want any beef here. Alright, I, I won't start any beef, don't worry. Just, just okay. put that out there. 
<laughs> so let's go straight into the questions. The first question is, how do you think Liverpool will cope with these massive, massive injuries? Yeah. Especially in the back line. Yeah, well, we've had a lot of injuries lately. It's been quite a coincidence how, like, you know, we've had, I don't know, good nine injuries in, like, the past, like, month or two. And it's been quite hard to cope so far, but I think we've done quite well. Like, obviously, we've got that 3 0 win against Leicester. We've been doing all right. I think during mid season, we'll start to struggle a bit more, like, obviously, in defence, since we've lost a lot of good players there. But, like, slowly as people come back, we'll, like, start to get back onto, like, winning ways. And, you know, I think we'll cope for the rest of the season. But it will be interesting to see how, you know, Jurgen Klopp deals with. The Van Dyke problem because he's a big part of our defence and he's going to be gone for the rest of the season. Yeah, that's he pretty is. much it. So, next question is how do you think your top five will finish? Of obviously starting with Liverpool in first. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, Liverpool first, obviously. Now second was a very hard pick for me. Like I'm probably going to have to say Tottenham because they are doing very well at the moment, and you know I don't want to trigger Leo. As Very a nice. Tottenham fan, uh, <laughs> I mean, that's actually what I think. But I think they'll finish second. Uh, third, I third was also a hard choice, but I went with Chelsea. They've been doing quite well. Obviously, they've been a lot of new signings over the um, transfer window. So yeah, I reckon they could get a good third. And then in fourth, this is this might be quite a controversial one for like a few people. Like, because how bad they've been doing, how bad their start has been. But I'm going with Man City, mainly because although they've had such a bad start, I reckon they can get back into it. Like, obviously, they did put up a good fight against Liverpool. It was a 1-1 match, very close, you know. So I reckon they could finish a good fourth. And in fifth, um, it was a very close between fourth and fifth. But in fifth, I put um, Leicester. They've been doing very well recently as well. Obviously lost to Liverpool though, so you know, not as good as Liverpool. But yeah, I reckon you can finish fifth. Alright, on to the next question. That is very nice. So you have put Leicester not to finish into that top four. Why have you said yeah. that? Um, well, I mean, it's obviously been a bit influenced by that 3-0 win. I've, I mean, I think it was mainly... Because of like I think Liverpool just dealt deal with it really well, but like Leicester did look a bit rusty. They weren't really uh, getting much attacks on. We were pretty much dominating for the whole game. So yeah, but they haven't really. They've been doing quite well, but I, as like they're quite, they're still kind of a of a small club, if you know what I mean. They obviously did win the league a few years back, but they've since then they've been a bit you know mid table. So I don't think they're gonna like finish a good like finish top four especially with like the really good teams that we've got up there i mean like i just couldn't see man city finishing below leicester so yeah i put them there um yeah um also you did put tottenham to be runners up this year why have you said yeah. this indeed well now tottenham obviously in the table at the moment first place match week nine first place by goal difference yeah but they have been doing really, really well. Obviously, they've got Jose Mourinho. I can't even argue. He's an amazing manager. And I think they'll do really well with him. Maybe earn a few trophies. You know, but... Yeah, runners-up seems once. about right for me. <laughs> yeah, fair. Fair <laughs> point there. Yeah, so, yeah. Runners-up for me. Because I don't think they'll do... I don't think they'll beat Liverpool, mainly because... Of, like, still, Liverpool is a very advanced team. Sure, that's my brother screaming at Fortnite. <laughs> alright, alright. Alright, I'll continue. Um, yeah, so... Yeah, obviously, Liverpool have been a very good team, high in the ranks for a few years. So, I think we'll still finish first, but, you know, Tottenham would be a close second, and it'll be an interesting match where they play against each other in a couple of weeks. So, it will be. Yeah. What's your prediction Indeed. for that match, Quick? Ah! I mean... It's still a few weeks ahead, so it's hard to predict, but I'm going to pro... I, I, I don't want to be too controversial, so I'm going to go with a 2-2 two, two draw. I reckon it'll be a 2-2 two, two, two. Two draw. A good t it'll be a really close match. I reckon it'll be, have lots of injuries, though. You know, it'll be quite dirty, I have a feeling. But yeah, good match. Um, oh, come on. 
Okay, the next and final question. Um, overall, why do you think Liverpool will win the league? Oh, it's just there is a lot to say here. Well, obviously we've had a very great start of the season. In the part, I think I think I could start. I think I should start with like Jurgen Klopp first. Jurgen Klopp is an amazing manager. Like I would argue best in the world at the moment. He's like he took Liverpool from like a mid-table club in like 2015 all the way up to like finishing like first second and like I don't think it will really be that much different this year although we've had a lot of injuries I think Jurgen Klopp as a really good manager will be able to cope with that and you know it will do really well in the end and yeah I, I mean I don't really see much other teams in the competition except from Tottenham of course I think it'll be quite close at the end of the season but yeah I don't really see Chelsea man or Leicester are reaching them too. But yeah, pretty much I just think Liverpool will slightly come out on top to Tottenham, you know? Yeah. Pretty much it. And that's pretty much it for the interview. Before I go, <laughs> is there any social media accounts you want to shout out before I leave? Uh, ah! Now I get to the interest of... Now I'm joking. Like that. <laughs> but, mm, so, we're, we're, we're obviously you got to follow um, team.org on your Instagram and team.org on TikTok, team.org on YouTube, follow all of them. You gotta get team.org, 100, 100 subscribers. And also, um, yeah, just gonna quickly sh uh, shout my Instagram, Lando Allen 2712 go check that out, that's pretty cool. Yeah, Jack underscore Sushi Tushi, he posts some for pick sometimes. Nice. <laughs> yeah, George okay, doesn't. George thank you for your time. Memes. Yeah. Thank you for your time. Yeah, it's been a pleasure talking to you about how. Hopefully, you have a good week. day, and yeah. I'll see you soon. I see you later. God's sake! Well, did you guys include your? Um, and that is all I have for you today. Please like and sub, and tune in for the next episode of Why I Think. Blank will win the league. Next episode will be Leicester. I don't know any Leicester fans, but I will. I will beg someone to do it. My mates, my mates are asking for for a West Ham one. <laughs> I'm not gonna do a West Ham one. Um, that that's pretty much all I have. Oh no, we're doing a fucking West Ham one. I know we're probably normal. not gonna win the league, Goodbye. but I think it'll be funny, and I'll include my audio. Fuck prick. What? I've ruined. When did you even choose your audio?